Well, hey folks, good to see you again. I'm out here in the woods with uh, my, my good friend Henry. And we're in some deep snow. The snow is about five feet, maybe more. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be getting quite a bit more snow here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's coming down pretty hard. We are at the, the site that we wanna set up. It's a little bit challenging. The ground is, uh, the snow is just, it's not packed down yet. So it's, even, even with the snowshoes, I'm going knee deep, sometimes even deeper than that when I'm walking. Henry's having a tough time here. So I'm gonna get the tent set up. First, first order, order of business is to pack down the ground. So that's what I'm gonna do. Give Henry a place to lie down here. See if he knows to use it. Come here. No, don't bite it. Lay on it. getting in here was so hard. Breaking trail even with snowshoes in five feet of snow is not easy and this is this is pretty wet snow so it's it's already heavy as soon as you put weight down on it it collapses. Oh, I'm sweating. Good thing I'm wearing all this uh, gear that wicks away wicks away moisture quickly but I want to get this tent up as soon as possible to give Henry a place to uh, relax. He's already starting to get a ton of those uh, snowballs. He's got a sweater on, it's 100% uh, wool. Good thing, as you know, about wool is uh, doesn't really absorb the moisture too well anyway, so it, it uh, keeps its insulation value pretty, pretty strong, even when it's wet. Help me pack this down, bud. Henry, that's a good boy. 
Well, the good thing about snow, you can really mold it to uh, the shape of your body. Some of the most uh, comfortable sleeps I've had are in, in the snow. And this mattress <coughs> insulates well, right up against the snow. Insulates very well. Don't even need a ground sheet or anything. And uh, I think Henry's gonna use that one if he stays on it. If he doesn't ruin it. I'll be okay. And I'll take my snow snowshoes off and check it out. But I want to get good size area so I can kind of walk around, at least around the tent. I have hopes to get a fire going, but uh, I'm not. Uh, I brought my stove. I'm not. I'm not screwed if I don't. Before all the snow, it was raining straight for a week here so everything's soaking wet or logged with ice and it's super hard to get anywhere but we'll try I think we'll try we'll see how things go Yeah, I got a tent. I don't think Henry Henry's ready for a, a tarp yet. Okay, okay. Hey. Leave it. Hey. Leave it. It's crazy, crazy mode now. Please get off the tent, bro. Henry, don't bite it, please. Talk about this thing.
excuse me. Well, at least he knows that's his home. The next step is to get him to uh, recognize sleeping bag and sleeping pad means warmth. He's a newbie, all right? Anyway. Time for lunch, bud. Uh, time for lunch. We'll get those uh, snowballs off you in no time, huh? All right, there, friend. Get you dried off. Whoa. Ghost head. Goat head. Pickle. Go. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's getting good. He's getting good at that. Okay, tent set up. I'm going to uh, see if I can improve Henry's situation. Make sure he uh, he's set up so he doesn't get cold. But the shelter's set up. <clears throat> the snow is pretty wet. It's not even a zero right now. It's probably plus one. Uh, the, dr the, the trees are dripping wet. So, temperature's obviously going to drop tonight. It's going to get down to uh, negative three to five. We will see. Good thing I brought my, my stove, because it does not look promising. I could get a fire going, but probably not well enough to cook. And, uh, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. in your sweater. Let's go back. Let's go back.
Henry, do you, do you need some snowshoes? Do you need some snowshoes, friend? Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. Oh. That's what you were doing. Lemon snow cone, anyone? Henry? Henry? Are you playing with twine? Huh? Are you ruining my bundle of twine? <laughs> oh boy. You're getting all these little snowballs. Oh my goodness. You're diseased. Henry, you're diseased. You're growing tumors! Oh no! Let me get them off you. Yeah. Surgery. Scalpel. Oh, they're impossible to get off. They're everywhere. Oh, okay. Thankfully, I did bring my chair, but I think the only way I'm going to be able to use this is if I set it up inside the tent. Because I don't have the uh, ground sheet so it doesn't sink in the snow. I suppose I could just place it on uh, the mattress, but I don't want to have that thing soaking wet. Henry's just demolishing the bundle of twine that I brought. I brought that just in case I needed the tarp, which I left in the car, because I figured I'd be okay with the tent and I just forgot to unload it from my from my bag. It was too deep in there, in the bag anyway. I wasn't gonna bring the chair, but I know I'm not gonna regret it. Weighs next to nothing anyway. Snow is supposed to slow down later this evening. There we go. This isn't this isn't too bad. So I started hiking, started the hike around 12. Sun sets at 4.15, so it'll be dark probably sooner than that because it's overcast. I think it's about 1.30 or 2 o'clock now. I am glad it's, it's snowing and not raining. Down at the base it, it's raining. So I put, uh, <coughs> I put Gold Bond, the, uh, the cooling kind, inside my sock and it works inside my socks and it works really well. And of course, Henry put a hole in my tent. <laughs> oh man. This tent has seen uh, better days. I think uh, I'm gonna wait for a bit to see if it, the snow kind of settles down a bit <clears throat> before I try and get wood, if I decide to do that, I don't know. The thing about campfires in deep snow like this, especially if you don't have good logs. They don't last long. Okay, I'm gonna uh, see what happens with the snow. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna make myself some, co some coffee. Make some coffee, here we go. Man, and to think I wasn't gonna bring this stove. I mean, let's get one thing straight. I'm pretty sure I could get a fire going well enough to cook, I'm pretty sure. But that would mean that I'd be probably collecting firewood for a good hour, hour and a half, maybe two. That means Henry would be in the snow, definitely with me, struggling to get around. 
getting snowballs attached to his fur the size of uh, California grapefruits. So I'm glad for my sake and Henry's sake that I brought this stove. So glad. Hi. That's nice. Nice kisses. Nice kisses. Thank you. Thank you. Henry doesn't kiss on the lips. He kisses on the chin and the neck. <clears throat> Thank you. Henry, you're going to take my glove and chew it up, aren't you? Well, this is asking for trouble, this one handle. But I can't find the other one. Oh, careful there, friend. Nope, that's my sleeping bag. Do not touch that. Ooh, it's getting chilly. Because I am slightly wet. Just from the sweat. So let's, uh... Oh yeah, snow is dissipating a bit. Oh man. Henry, leave it. That's enough out of you. That is enough out of you, my friend. And let's get this thing on too. Hi. Henry, please, no, stop. Oi, e, e. Henry, stop. Henry, leave it. I command you to leave it. Oh, that's nice. He's gonna put a hole in my sleeping bag. Oh, it's pretty much stopped snowing. Excellente. Excellente. You spill the coffee and then you try and lick it. This is not good. This is not good. Henry, these kind of behaviors are just not gonna, they're not gonna work. You know why? Because coffee will kill you. Caffeine will kill you, my friend. There's no two ways about it. <clears throat> you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, Henry. I guess that hike was uh, not strenuous enough for you. Oh, that's nice, Henry. Is this is this snow too deep for you? What do you think? 
It's a bit too deep, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. But I got I had to bring you. I'm not just gonna leave you at home. You're gonna play video games and watch TV this entire time? Mm-mm. No, we need you to get fresh air. Okay, I gotta do something about this coffee on the on the snow so he doesn't dig and eat it. Please don't knock this over. Ah. Uh. Oh, that is good. Hot drink on a cool day. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Be free. Be free, Bubba. Be free. Well, inside the tent is quite wet. Quite wet indeed. for you. Look at all these. <laughs> I've seen this on other other dogs. <clears throat> now I see it on my own. This is going to be annoying <laughs> getting every single one of these little snowballs off of them before bedtime. He's just going to go roam around in the snow more, so I guess take off the big ones, leave the little ones. Mm. Yum. <clears throat> oh. Snow has started up again. Henry is digging. Henry, what you doing, friend? Hi, friend. What are you digging? Oh boy. Whoa. I took Henry's uh, sweater off, as you can see, because, uh, ow. Please don't bite me. Because uh, uh, it kept <laughs> stretching and it kept getting caught in his paws. He's collecting a lot of snow anyway. This snow is just too wet to, uh, to not really absorb or whatever you want to call it to uh, uh, wool. <sighs> yeah, so we're uh, just on the tail end of what's called a moisture stream, I think, or moisture river of moisture, which is a uh, meteorologist meteorologist term for 
just extreme rain for weeks and we get that here in, in, in the lower mainland, BC. It's been raining for two weeks, maybe, yeah, about two weeks, just constantly. So we're on the tail end of that and uh, this snow, <clears throat> about five feet of snow, all dumped within the last five days, I think, maybe less. Henry keeps, uh, when we're hiking up here, he kept stepping on the back of my snowshoes and tripping me up. Boy, oh boy. Something else. Henry is something else. <laughs> okay, please don't put holes in my clothes. <clears throat> Henry and I did a bit of a scout just in the general area for uh, possible candidates for firewood and there's not much guys not much at all all the the limbs that look that look accessible are either soaking wet which maybe we can use or they're still like they're they're big limbs that are still alive which I'm not really, I'm not really too keen on doing, especially when I have a stove. Cutting down live limbs, like big limbs, not just uh, boughs, but like big branches. Plus, that wouldn't really burn too well anyway. And uh, the stuff that I need, the thin twigs, there's not a lot of that either. It's all ice logged or waterlogged. It would just end up putting putting the fire out anyway. <clears throat> but we're gonna try, I think. We're gonna go back out. I did see maybe some pieces that that could help, that could work. Thing about this area, again, we're up in the mountains. Wood is is very hard to come by. Only the strongest trees survive up here. And the dead ones are all on the ground. <laughs> Under five feet of snow. <clears throat> but Henry's getting used to the deep snow. Definitely getting used to it. He doesn't get very far. Oh boy. The raven out in the distance there. My favorite bird. So the elevation I'm at is, uh, <clears throat> what am I like? About, about 1500 meters. No, that's a lie. Wow, a big thing of snow just fell, fell off that tree. Uh, I am about 1100 meters right now. Freezing level tonight is gonna get down to 900 meters. The freezing level right now, I think, is 1,000 meters. So I'm just above that. And obviously snow typically still survives be below freezing level, at least in the air, as you know. But I'll take you out on the next reconnaissance for wood. Definitely. Another thing I, I did too, which is super useful, is I'm I'm blazing, or not blazing, but uh, breaking down a new trail. So I've gone back and forth twice, or once, back and forth, and already the trail is nice. Nice for Henry. That's that's what I'm concerned about. I've got snowshoes. He, he doesn't. I wonder if you can get snowshoes for dogs. <laughs> that looks so stupid. Uh, wind's starting to pick up a bit. Breeze, that is. <sighs> yeah, just getting bands of snow right now. 
bands of it. I got a treat for you. Weave it. Nope. Weave it. Have we forgotten what we learned already? Go ahead. Good boy. Give me your thoughts so far on this mountain experience. It's nice, huh? You're a mountain dog, partially. You better enjoy it. up a bit. This is nice. It's, it's always nice when it clears up and uh, you can get, you know, the sky opens up a bit. Go ahead. Okay, we got about an hour left of actual daylight, so we're gonna go f try and find some wood. Wood is needed. Okay, let's go, Henry. Let's go, little dude. So for dinner tonight, we got something different. I wanted to see how my body would react to something a touch, I guess, less nu nutritious. Nutritious, yeah. So for dinner, I have just noodles and beef jerky, that's it. It's just a little test for myself because I know, obviously I know my body. Even with a good steak dinner with the full course meals that I've had out here in the woods, I do notice um, the energy depletion the next day, even after a big meal like that. So I'm having a bit less to see how my body does tomorrow. There is a hike ahead of me. Thankfully, it's mostly downhill. But I do want to see, I do want to see, uh, yeah, how my body does. Because I'm not going to be able to, uh, carry these intricate meals of uh, chicken rigatoni and you know steak and uh, hollandaise sauce sometimes I'm just gonna have the bare minimum and you know if a situation comes that is more serious <clears throat> I'm gonna know more about what my body can handle you know if I get stranded when I'm just planning to go out for lunch or just a day trip, I want to know sort of how my body reacts to that sort of food intake, so. 
just testing myself in, in small ways. You know, you probably can't see that too well. Here, I'll try and contrast it against the snow. So these are what I'm after for uh, kindling. But everywhere I look, it's just like this. Soaking wet. And the problem is where I am, it's just a small plateau and then a drop off all around me. And then incline that way, up the mountain. So, and the wood gets worse as you go up. So there's not a whole lot of area to explore. I actually do see some dead standing down, but if I go down there, Henry's going down with me. And unless I tie him to a tree, which I'm not, not gonna do, uh, I don't want him going down there and I don't even wanna go down there. So I've got a small area to look to, to search and I don't got much. Henry, you know, I've blazed a trail for you. I put some good tracks in the snow for you so you didn't fall. And you just continue to explore in the deep snow. No dead, dead standing at all. Unless I want to go down. See in this uh, tree cluster here. This is where I'd, I'd usually go to find tinder and or kin kindling. Good thing about inside these trees with all the uh, snow falling down and all the water dropping, it's easier to walk through. Oh, well, here's something. Let's cut it, cut into it, see what we got. cedar, we might be in luck. Okay. Oh, that is soaking inside. Although that might be just from the, the saw. And of course, Henry is going to go after that. Okay, this thing is uh, pretty loose, and I bet you I could get a big chunk of it if I dug in a little bit. So, uh, now's the time that I wish I brought my shovel. It's gonna be hard to get at. Okay, Henry, I'm gonna need you to, to move a bit here. The temptation to tie you to a tree is strong. <laughs> no, just kidding. I kid, my friend. 
I would never do that to you. Never. Never. Yes, chase the snow. That's a good lad. Okay, well that's about as much digging. Well, let's get a bit more so I got some leverage here. Smells nice, eh, bud? See what I mean? I'm gonna have to get, if I wanna use this wood anyway, a very hot fire and then it'll start to thaw out or dry out and then it will burn. that or actually this side's a better illustration <sighs> wet oh cedar is delicious isn't it there in it So good. So good indeed. One thing I could do is get a mess of cedar bark. I don't know. There's not even a whole lot of that within my reach anyway. Well, I can get a flame going. I know that. And there is a good, uh, like, stump, very rotten log or stump standing near, near home base. So that will work as a baseboard, but we will see. Oh, Henry, do not fret, my child. Well, this is it. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's wet. <sighs> now, obviously, that's better than getting getting it going right on top of the snow. But no surprise that this dead piece of wood is full of water. Henry, you did destroying that piece of wood for me? Thanks. Yeah, go ahead. Better than nothing. Ugh. You 
destroying that piece of wood, friend. Thank you. I wasn't planning on using it anyway. <sighs> well, guys, we got about half an hour until it's dark. Not a whole lot in terms of wood. At least in this area. If it had been drier leading up to this dump of snow, I would have been good. Or cool, cooler, I should say. Cooler, drier, either way. But I think it's still above zero where I am because everything's still dripping. <clears throat> I'll get a flame going. Just nothing hot enough to dry off my boots or anything. Unfortunately. <clears throat> That's okay. I, uh, I am planning on heading back out real soon before Christmas. It's uh, December a couple days before Christmas. Let's, let's put it that way. I can't think right now. But yeah, in, in two days I think I'm going to head out again. If everything works out. Henry is getting obsessive. Did you lose a piece in the snow? go. I got it. Just a quick update guys. The snow is really coming down so we're uh, just in our tent seeking shelter. It's starting to get dark, and Henry's licking the uh, snowballs off his fur. <laughs> They're really stuck on there. I'm like taking out clumps of fur as I'm trying to take these snowballs out. Hey bud. Starting to get a bit wet. <clears throat> so I've got a good sleeping pad for Henry and uh, a good sleeping bag. It's not gonna get too cold tonight. My, my concern is that, you know, he gets wet, but uh, worse comes to worse, I'll just uh, snuggle with him, make sure he's warm. He doesn't seem to be slowing down anyway. Still roaming around, playing with wood. Soon I'll get dinner, dinner started dinner, my noodles, but the snow is not supposed to last for very long, we'll see. Last bit of daylight here, I, uh, can you see the, uh, the bag up there, just on top of that snow, snow pile or whatever, I collected a bunch of twigs soaking wet soaking wet so you know I've got fire starter but barely any wood any good wood anyway now we wait for darkness and we take cover from the snow at least I will uh, just a quick update I am uh, boiling well <clears throat> melting snow to drink because I'm almost out of water. 
and uh, soon I'll be making my noodles. Henry is finally relaxed, kind of on a sleeping pad. He's pretty wet, but he should be uh, should be warm. <clears throat> I've got the uh, the sleeping bag draped over him. He should be fine. Snow is still just coming down. Just crazy. Let me show you. Lens is a bit wet or foggy. I can't tell. Probably not coming too well through through the lens. Oh, let's get the camera back inside. <laughs> Henry, you're invisible. Oh, it's getting steamy in here, eh, bud? Oh. You are soaked. I do have a towel. Oh, uh, once he, once I can tell he's ready to turn in, I'll uh, attempt to dry him off. Eating those snowballs. All right, folks. Very simple here. <clears throat> Noodle. Noodle, noodle. Noodle time. Noodle soup time. Chicken flavor. Chicken. It's probably a bit too much <clears throat> water in there, but gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. Plus, we could probably boil some of that off, eh? Let's turn up the heat on that. Okay. Well, that's weird. <clears throat> Beef jerky inside the chicken soup. I don't know. There it is. You know Henry's tired when he sleeps through dinner prep. Oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> nice and cozy. Well, snow is coming down, but it's dying off a bit, so that's good. Might give us a chance to dry out a bit, make a fire, or, well, make a flame. Oh boy. Henry is, uh, he's done. He is done. He's half off the, uh, the sleeping mat, which is not ideal. I'd like him to, like him to be on the mat entirely. But, uh, he's not shivering, and he's fast asleep. So, I'll keep an eye on him. I've got him covered with every blanket that he's got, basically, except for his head, so he can breathe. But it is a, this is a wet night. This is going to be a wet night. Temperature is probably just getting below zero. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. I'm just getting my bedding set up, at least my mattress. Um, oh boy. It's challenging, you know dog just dog's fur he's got a he's got a shaggy rug going on so it's it's hard to keep to keep him dry and in, in fact it's pretty much impossible the snow just bunches into evidently bunches into snowballs and uh they're impossible to take out without taking a big clump of fur out <laughs> along with it so i left a little some of the little chunks still in there 
with the hopes that they would they would melt or he would eat them uh, or nibble at them which he's been doing he was doing I was just gonna make uh, or melt some water but I uh, figured you know it's almost five o'clock still a little bit light out and that can be attributed to the snow everywhere that's what I love it's probably I'm probably gonna be able to see um, around me tonight as per usual with a blanket of snow and overcast so this dinner is about ready noodles don't take long my boots are now just starting to absorb moisture I treated them with uh, with with some spray knowing that it was gonna be a wet wet time up here here it is delicious delicious soup <clears throat> kind of hard to show you here it's almost spilling but rest assured there is soup in there with beef chicken soup chicken noodles with uh, beef jerky and that is dinner that is hot ow wowzer Okay. A bit too much water in there. The flavor is a little bland. The Bushman's Ramen. I don't know if you guys like ramen. But uh, I don't see, I don't see what all the, what all the uh, commotion is about. I mean, it's good. I don't know that that it's worth telling your, uh, telling your friends about or anything to write home about. That's for sure. Maybe I just have, haven't had good ramen. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Henry's out. Normally he'd be uh, all up in my grill while eating. It's probably going to be an early night tonight. I can't imagine. You know, if it, especially if it continues snowing. It's hard to see. Is it still some, Yeah, it is. It's still coming down. First battery complete. <laughs> oh, the joys of making a video. Thankfully, I have enough this time. All right, I'm gonna finish this uh, mountain ramen. Hopefully the snow will stop. And I'll check back with you. Oh, Henry, how precious. How precious is our little friend. <laughs> okay, Henry is up. And he wants something. Could it possibly be food? Believe that. You know the drill, my friend. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Man, the snow is just not stopping. Not stopping. Okay, let me get out of the way here. Oh. Henry, go ahead. Stop. Stop. Good lord. Good lord, my friend. Go ahead. Oh man, it's so wet inside this tent. Delicious. Okay, guys. Yes, that's nice. That's very nice. Thank you. Mm. 
Okay guys, this is by far the wettest camping experience I've ever had. There are puddles literally forming in the bottom of this tent. <clears throat> you probably tell because the lens is getting awfully steamy. Henry's fine, he's just looking for food. Um, so, I don't know. We're, we're gonna try and get through the night. It has not stopped snowing this entire time. There's no fire happening tonight, folks. None whatsoever. It is wet, it is steamy. My sleep, sleeping bag got a, a little bit wet because Henry, when I wasn't looking, dragged it into the puddle that is formed inside the tent here, so. He has decided to go on my uh, inflatable mattress. I am now on the foam mattress. You know, he's gonna pop a hole in the mattress he's on, for sure. I don't know, I don't know what he's doing. And you're losing me in, in, in the steam, in the fog. Guys, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Unless the snow stops, or unless something crazy happens. I'm not going to see you until the morning. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, there's a first time for everything. I'm not uncomfortable. My feet are a little frozen. Uh, Henry's fine. He's, uh, he, he just got up from a long nap where, uh, he got actually quite dry. A lot of steam coming out. Anyways, guys, uh, unless something happens. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. It's early. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. I'm going to bed early. There's nothing else to do at this point. Please, no. Stop. The forecast told me you'd stop. Henry. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, Henry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Back. Hold on there, puppy. Stuck zipper. <sighs> okay. Go ahead. Oh, good morning, guys. That was a long, a long night. It was super wet and steamy in here. And, uh, quite uncomfortable. I managed to uh, shift around and sort of beat the snow in formation. But then I just could not fall asleep once I got comfortable. <clears throat> not sure what it what it'll take for me to get a good good sleep lately. But I'm just packing up now. And getting out of here pretty quick. I was taking the opportunity because it, it finally stopped snowing. It snowed all night. All night long. And I, th I think it's picked up again. Yeah, I can hear it on the, on the tent. So I'm just quickly packing up in here. I don't know if I'll have uh, coffee or not. We'll, we will see. We will see. Wow. Wow, it snowed quite a bit. Holy. Holy cow.
cow. Sorry, bud. It's all right, Henry. Probably a good six inches. Good morning, Henry. Henry. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? I know you slept well. You must have. You were snoring. Oh, boy. Water. All right, I've made the the crucial decision. I'm just going to pack up. I am boil, boiling up some water or melting snow so I can have some water on the way down. I've run out. May as well do that when I'm packing. Very light, light snow right now, so it's a good opportunity to get everything sorted now. You know, before it picks up again. It's absolutely stunning out here, guys. It's crazy how much snow is up here. I tried giving Henry some water. He wouldn't take, he wouldn't drink any. So I mixed in just a, a little bit of food to make sure he gets his water. He's eating a ton of snow, but that doesn't really hydrate you very quickly. Not near as quick as a good sip of liquid. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty much packed, ready to go. The 
it's just going to finish off this water and get going. Get her going. We are packed up and ready to go. Oh. Well, that was another one for the books. Tough night. Tough go trying to get a fire going. Well, I didn't, I didn't even try. There was, n there was not enough wood, dry wood. But it was a, it was a good time. I always love being out in the snow, in deep, deep snow. It's probably close to six feet now. I'm looking uh, to possibly do another winter video very soon, so keep your eyes open. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment if uh, if you if you'd like, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, I can't even talk. Okay, guys, take care now, and I'll see you on the next one. Henry, let's go. Henry. Oh, I gotta do something about that sweater, friend. It's causing more harm than good. Man, it's stretching out.